Hello darlings, if you'd like to see how to get this Lana Turner inspired hair, keep on watching. For this hairstyle you will need two hair combs, water or setting spray, bobby pins, a hairbrush and comb, hairspray and foam rollers. Guys, I went all out for this hairstyle, I cut myself a little bit of a fringe. Before I start to curl my hair, I thoroughly dampen my hair with water as I am doing a wet set. To form these little pin curls, you're going to wrap your hair around your finger and wind that up to the top of your head and pin that in place. Now for most of my vintage hairstyles that I do, all my pin curls go the same way, usually facing towards my face. But this time, direction is very important. So I'm going to put up a little diagram for you here that shows that all the top curls go in the one direction, then the second row of curls goes in the opposite direction, and so forth. And the very bottom curls, we're going to use foam rollers as this is going to give the hairstyle stability. Alternating the direction of the curls results in a more sculpted, well-defined wave. Now again, you're going to thoroughly dampen your hair with water or setting spray and give it a good brush through before you start to do your curls. Now I'm curling my fringe first and this is a, like a little barrel curl that I'm creating at the top of my head. And you're going to pin that in place. And I did give it an extra spray of water to make sure that that's really set in place. Now with this little top section that's right behind the front curl, we're going to create three pin curls facing towards the back. This is kind of like a comb over that we're creating that is almost the same height as the fringe at the front. Now once those top curls are done, you're just going to go ahead and repeat what you did on the other side of your hair, alternating the curls as you go. One row facing towards your face, the next row facing away, the next row facing towards your face, and then finishing with the foam rollers on the bottom. Once you have finished pinning your curls, it should look a little something like this even if it is a little messy. And just re-dampen all over your hair to make sure that all of those curls are set in place. Wrap your head in a breathable scarf and leave that overnight while you sleep. I'm back, it's next morning, and my hair has probably been left for 10 hours, I would say. If you don't leave your set in for long enough, you could end up taking it out and it being wet. So that's not what you want, so I recommend leaving it in for longer so that you can just guarantee that it's all dry and you're just going to take out all of your curls and run your fingers through your hair. For the moment we are going to leave the fringe and the three curls on the top of our head. Leave that for the moment, we'll work on that later. Now is when we begin the brush out. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, especially if your curls are a little knotty, but just keep persevering and just keep brushing and use your comb to help untangle knots and sculpt those curls. So you're just gonna keep brushing until it is not a wild mane anymore and it starts to look presentable. Now for the side sections like Lana Turner has, we're going to take a good chunk of a section from each side of our hair and pull that up and, and secure that in place with a hair comb. And if your curls have gone a little crazy, you can just re-sculpt those back into place with a comb. Now moving on to our top curls, you're going to take those out and give them a good brush. And to recreate that same amount of volume that Lana has at the top of her hair, we are going to be teasing our hair in little layers. So just pick up one section and give it a good tease and then the next. And pull that over and brush down the top so there's no little crazy teasing everywhere. Mold those curls into place finish off the back of your hairstyle, make sure that you can feel that all of your curls are lying all together. You can also check with the little mirror. We've saved the best part till last, the fringe. So after you take that out, give that a good tease underneath the curl and that's going to produce the same volume that we're going for in Lana's hair. And then you're just going to play around with it until it looks something like what you want it to and then just slide a pin in holding that in place. I then squish down the opening of the curl with a pin because otherwise leaving it as is would kind of just be a bumper bang and that's not what we're going for.
if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more vintage content. Bye!